Hello, YouTube. I know it's been a while since I made a voice commentary, but I'm doing it today. Sorry for the quality of the microphone. I'm using my laptop microphone. Just because I thought I'd make a video tutorial because I haven't made one in a while. So if you make videos, you probably know that if you get render it on Sony Vegas Pro or Adobe After Effects, it'll take up a lot of space. Or even if you're recording gameplay from like Fraps or something. So let's just take this random clip here. You'll see that this clip is 3.9 gigabytes. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it to my desktop. So while that's copying over, I'll just show you this program. So this program, it'll come in an art archive. So if you see here, I'll show you what it'll come like. So it's gone slow because it's copied. I'm just hitting add to archive. This is what your file will look like when you download. I'll probably put it in two formats so you can have a .rar file and a .zip file. And you get to choose which one you want to download. So, anyways, let's we'll let that happen. I'll just pause the video while that happens. And then we'll get back to this. Okay. So I've got the zip file and the RAR file. I'll upload both of these and I'll show you that they're clean. It's just what you saw in the file. It's just what you saw in, see in here. Okay, so what you're gonna do, <coughs> well first off, the gameplay I just decided not to copy, obviously right in here. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Easy H264. This is a good video compressor. It'll compress this size of this file from 3.90 to be low 100 megabytes probably. So you're just going to run it as admin. You're just going to select the video file. So it's on my desktop. Why am I put under gameplay? Gameplay from one too much. So I'm just going to select it. You're going to select where you want your output file to be. I'm just going to leave it called output. Okay, so you just select where you want to play it. Your video as FPS, frames per second, I just leave it at that because you should have rendered it out already in there. Or at least the recording software should. Okay. And now this one, Extreme HD 720, you're just going to leave it what is already started on, which is that. You're going to hit start encoding, and I'm going to pause the video after this because it'll take a long time. Well, not a long time. But it'll take a lot of time, and you don't want to see that. So it says. This may take some time, be patient. And then a console application will pop up. This thing will start going, and as you can see in the bottom, frame equal 140 and it keeps going up. So it's going through all the frames in the video and compressing everything. So I'm going to pause this video while it does that. We'll be right back after. Okay, and finally, after I think 30 minutes or so, it's done. That's one of the longest times I've had on it. Maybe because it's a fraps file on it. Pretty long file, and well, it's pretty big. So that's done. I saved this output. Let's check this out. Ah, please. Okay. Well, I said it was going to be under 100 megabytes, but I guess not. it's pretty good. 162 megabytes for starting at 3.9 gigabytes, almost 4 gigabytes, then all the way down to that, and it doesn't lose quality either. Which is amazing to me. So now this is more friendly to use this file. No quality loss at all. Well, there probably is quality loss, but none that you can notice. There has to be somewhere where they're taking away something. Or it's just rendering in a different way. So anyways, hope that helped. I'll have these files in the description. Uh, happy compressing, I guess. See you later.